think it would be hard to overemphasize the impact that BERT has had on the industry. For the last 20 or 30 years, Rutan has been the inspiration. BERT Rutan has been called the man who reinvented the airplane, and for good reason. His Voyager aircraft was the first to fly around the world, non-stop and without refueling. His Virgin Atlantic Global Flyer set a record. And his home-built craft pioneered the use of new construction materials. Although Rutan airplanes differ widely in purpose, they share several common traits. They're light, strong, and energy efficient. They're models of safety and innovation. Above all, they reflect their maker. You can um, always tell a Burt Rutan airplane just as you can always tell a Dr. Seuss drawing or a Beatles song. He has always been dedicated to efficiency and safety. But there's another quality, and I think that quality is playfulness. If you look at the long easy or very easy, at the very bizarre boomerang, or especially at Spaceship One, you know that the person who designed that aircraft was having fun. He made people excited about aviation. These are designs which, you know, just look at White Knight 2. I mean, these are so out of the box and so different than any other sort of aircraft that we see in a conventional way. You look at them and immediately you know whose brain that came from. His mark in history is, is hanging from the rafters of this building right now, and there's no question uh, his legacy is uh, significant and long-lasting. But airplanes represent only a portion of his remarkable accomplishments. Bert Rutan has also left an indelible mark on the field of aerospace. Bert has really transformed the industry so that from now on, private industry will be viewed as being capable of building space transportation systems. I see us right now at the dawn of a, a new sector of space transportation, and that includes suborbital space tourism. BERT's Spaceship One opened up new possibilities for civilian space travel. It was the first privately funded suborbital craft to carry people into the realm of space, a feat accomplished twice in two weeks. He's the Steve Jobs of aviation. You know, he's, he's the, the ultimate innovator. In July 2011, the innovator announced his plans for the Bipod, an extraordinary hybrid flying car. This will be his final project at Scaled Composites, the legendary company he founded in 1982. It's a fitting project to underscore a lifetime of work from a game-changing entrepreneur and one-of-a-kind aviator. It has been such a pleasure to watch Scaled Composites and Burt Rutan over the 25 years of the life of Air and Space Magazine. I, I thank Bert Rutan every time I, I start up my airplane. Bert's accomplishments have really changed the, the vision of the community.